All right, guys, welcome to episode 80 of Dope Talk TV. Eight. We appreciate Eight. everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. We're back Another with Another one. We appreciate Ooh. y'all, man. Uh, roll your blunt, pack your bong, fucking pack your bowl. I'm fucking up, but who cares? I'm high as shit, guys. We're back with another one. How y'all boys feeling today, man? I'm feeling good. I just lit up a fucking blunt, so you know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling chill. Mm. I'm feeling nice. I like that. It's kind of like rainy. It. It's kind of like rainy it. outside. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's kind of toasty in here. Ooh, yeah. Give you a little vibe, guys. Yeah. A little vibe, man. I get, we, I we're back with another one. We're chilling, man. We're fucking chilling. Boom. But um, I know. Got? I know somebody who's about to be chilling, guys. Somebody who's about to be chilling. Rollo, man. Talk you know to I'm me. I'm going to go ahead Shout and give him up. a round of applause. Shout out to you, Rollo. Saludos. For holding it down. Uh, for those of you that know about him, he got caught with like 450 pounds of uh, herbage, marijuana, Mary J, on a PJ private jet. Is that illegal? Um, I don't know. We're about to see. We're about to see. I think that they're going to be able to get him out. You know, Drake advocated for him. Meek Mill advocated for him. And, um, yeah, man, they wrote a letter to, uh, you know, they wrote a letter to Joe Biden. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Let me stop you there. Says, so who? Yeah. <laughs> Money bad Joe. It says. He um, out. He out. Now, cannabis and clemency advocate Weldon Angelos revealed to TMZ that Rollo could be released under the Biden administration's clemency program, all right, which benefits nonviolent cannabis offenders like Rollo. Weldon also revealed that the White House reached out to him personally to speak about the clemency program it's putting together, and he thinks it could benefit Rollo. While Rollo was busted with 444 pounds of weed in 2018, Weldon points out that the rapper was arrested for violating the same federal statute many entrepreneurs and corporations violate every day in 36 states across the country who are not subject to federal prosecution. Whoa. Oof. Whoa. And what, how many pounds did he have? Yeah, 444. Okay. 444. So, I'm going to tell you what's going on here. I'm not a fucking FBI agent, but I am. So, <laughs> let me tell you something. I think that it's not so much the marijuana. It's the fact that, nigga, what the fuck are you doing with 447 pounds? That's trafficking. Yeah. That's what you're doing. That's what they're going to assume, and that's where they're going to come from. From yeah. the point of your trafficking. That's not for personal use. Yeah, it's not for personal use. And we're not use making money off all. of it, so we're coming after you. Because you know how, come on, Uncle Sam. Yeah, that's how Uncle, me, Sam Uncle Sam works, guys. You know how you it know is. How you, play. you could be making millions fuck or whatever, you. but he wants his cut. If yeah. you don't give Uncle Sam his cut, you're getting He's cut. He's the realest all right? drug dealer out there. Yeah, no, somebody understand. somebody snitched for sure i don't think somebody snitched that nigga's been sitting in jail for like three years already bro like no i meant like when he got caught like oh five, yeah of yeah. course somebody had a you know somebody had to drop but drop honestly, the dime bro, drop the dime yeah somebody had to drop on That's him bro and it's thing. unfortunate but you know again shout out to you rollo round of applause Wait, to you is he locked up yeah Shout out to you for getting locked up. Yeah, shout out to you, Rollo. God bless your heart. Nah, bro, you held it down, man. You held it down for, Listen, the, for the camp. You, you know suck what I'm at rapping. You suck at rapping, <laughs> but but you're good. You're, you're good at what you do, and you a hustler, and you make shit happen, even though you suck. So mm. at rapping, mm. but just well, rapping. You, you're good at everything. I'll tell else. you what, uh, Rollo. I fucks with you. I fucks with I'm you. A I'm a full witch. I'm a fuck with you. I'm a fuck with you too, man. You know, you know what I'm a fuck with, guys, is uh this goddamn apple car. You oh, know what I'm saying? shit, bro. I'm a fuck with this apple car. Let me tell you about this apple car. I was reading about this shit. Well, I wasn't reading about it. I watched the video, and it was talking about how Apple's been working on this fucking car, right? And I guess fucking Jobs had the idea back in 2008. <clears throat> For this car. But then he decided to focus on the iPhone. God bless his fucking heart, though. Yeah, he changed the game. Yeah, he changed the fucking game. But yeah, there's a fucking Apple car coming in. Guess who's not happy about it? <laughs> My man, Elon. Elon's not happy. Elon, Elon said, fuck you. Apple went and stole a whole <laughs> bunch of engineers. And they're like, we're trying to keep it top secret. At Apple, it's called Project Titan. That's what they're referring to the car as. And guess what? They went to fucking Tesla and stole like a thousand engineers from them. Wow. <laughs> Musk said, he's like, how the fuck can it be a secret when you fucking steal a thousand engineers from me? 
Nah, hey, that's yo, true. Listen. That's true. I'm going to find out. Shout out to Elon Musk. I'm with you. I'm with you, I'm bro. With you, Elon. I'm going to find out about it. That's that's crazy. You still a thousand of my best engineers? Bro, nah, Musk I mean, said shit. it's pretty hey, but hard to hide The it. fact that somebody was able to do it says something about your company. Bro, he I calls it know. the Tesla graveyard. That's what mm. Elon Musk calls it. You know why? The because graveyard? they're just taking ideas that Elon Musk threw away. He's wow. like, you know what? I don't need these fucking ideas. And then Apple comes and Tim Cook. Let me tell you something, Tim. I don't know you, but you seem like a piece of shit. <laughs> Tim Cook. Yeah, yeah nah. that's Hopefully Tim you can Cook. cook, bitch. But Elon, mm. Elon, bro, uh, I'm with you, Elon. Yeah. That was Buzz. Genius. He's our modern day fucking this guy yeah. over there next to you. What the fuck is this guy's name? Uh, fucking Brian Stein. No, Brian Stein. Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was a piece of shit. Nah, for real, bro. I am. But nah, that that's crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> it's crazy how technology is moving and how these big tech companies are fucking like feuding low key and high key. You Yo, know? Tim Cook like, said that their goal is autonomous cars, so people could focus on other things while they're driving. What do you mean autonomous? What, autonomous? You, you, you're talking to a hood nigga. You guys so, kind of yeah, break it yeah. down. So let me explain. Autonomous is that it's just self driving. Self driving. It takes care of everything. So you could be on your laptop. You could be posting podcasts and editing. Shout out to you. Subscribe, like, smash the like button. Nah, Anyways, for real. Nah, but facts. Yeah, but I don't listen, man. Don't play with me. Autonomous. When I when I, I hear words it. I don't understand, I think it is disrespect. I'm not you know what I mean? Isn't, isn't that from a movie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's from Forty Year Old Virgin. Watch like your said. mouth <laughs> before I fucking. Said, you want a nigga? Nigga, you know. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I'm nobody nigga. He's like, somebody's nigga. You somebody nigga wearing that nigga tie. I was dying though. Shout out to you, 40 year old. Shout out to you, 40 year old virgin. Round of applause. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. At the end of the day, I wouldn't never trust my life to technology. I'm just sorry. Yeah, nah, for real. Like, when it comes to self driving shit and things that you're not in control of fully, because you're not in control of a lot, but. Nah, bro. Like, I'm in the back seat. There's nobody in the front seat. This shit's taking me across town. No. Nah, I ain't doing I'm that. I'm straight. I'll drive myself. Or when you see the videos of people sleeping in the front seat while the car's driving. That's right. How swag. can you be so comfortable, I'll, I'll, though? I'll do that. I'm nah, not even going to flex. I can't I fall. Can, bro, I, can't I can fall. barely fall asleep in my bed at night, nigga. Imagine in the middle of a highway and this shit's trying to drive itself. Like, you crazy yeah, as fuck. No. No, I, I mean, like, trust issues. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just like it. Like, I, I have, think it would be you cool. You like trust issues? I don't know. I like toxic shit. Oh, my mm. God. You know what? That's a good point. Let me segue into mm. toxic shit. How about how John is the only man in my life that I've ever met with the most toxic fucking relationships <laughs> ever? <laughs> I don't mean to throw him all the fuck. But, but Yo, this man has got some toxic. I like it. I like it, bro. Crazy nah, bro. Women. I like it. Listen, he man. Crazy if women. this there, there, nigga, Yo, a movie if, you don't throw, <laughs> if you don't throw a pack of toxic in his coffee <laughs> in the morning, he, he, don't, even, he don't want the day. Take you don't even want to deal with it. If you don't give me an issue, bitch, you better fucking. If you don't get bring going. an argument yeah. for him to fucking worry about for the next three days, <laughs> you don't want to hear it. Yo, if you don't bro. give him a white hair. Yo, my last. <laughs> let, me, let me let me put it to you like this, all right? My last girl, she made me bald, bro. Mm. Dead ass. <laughs> I started losing hair and shit. I was it wasn't the fuck his genetics. Out. It wasn't his genetics. Nope. It was his last girl. It has nothing no, it was my to last do with genetics. Nothing. Fuck science. Yeah, <laughs> fuck science. Science is not real. We don't need science. Who said we needed science? Facts. Nah. Yeah, science is not <laughs> Stay real, in bro. School, kids. Bro, I believe in fucking religion. Wow. Wow. I'm going to just. Bless like, yeah. your heart. Let's just dive into that. What do yeah, you believe, what do you believe about all of that? I believe in just a higher, like, a higher person, like a higher God, bro. Like, I, I'm not really into, like,. Like, I'm not really religious. Like, I don't... Whoa, really... whoa, let me just go back. You literally just said you were into religion, and then you just said, I'm not religious. What like, the fuck it's is going like, on? It's like, it's like I'm, I'm like right in the middle with it, honestly. It's like some days I wake up, and I'm like, you know what? Man. And then there's some days I'm like, I don't know. You're iffy... If you face it's like it's like I'm, it's like I'm back and forth, you know, and I, and I have faith, you back know. Back and forth, show up back and you forth. Can st- you can still have faith, bro. You can still have faith. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, that ass. Like, being serious. Listen, listen. Serious, like, like, being serious. No, here. being like, serious, yeah, all jokes ass. aside, there's a difference between being religious and being spiritual. Yep. Like you can be reli- you can be religious and not have spirituality, and vice versa. You can yep. have spirituality and not believe in religion. And you know that's thunder that you hear. Because we're talking yeah. about religion. Because there's we're people out here. There's people. There's people out here that just like they're like, nah, I don't believe in nothing. Like I don't believe in. Hey, like, I feel so sorry for you guys. Atheist. If you don't believe in anything, you can't even believe in yourself. Oh, seriously, my God! Can, can I stop you for a minute? Go ahead. What you can you repeat what you just said? If you don't believe in anything, you can't even believe in yourself. That was like that's boss. 
I know take I have that sunglasses you. Take that on, with you. Take that with you. But I'm, tier. This is a tier here. I'll send you my cash app. Yo, so my, you can, ooh, yeah. I got you. I, I got you. Yeah. I think bet, my, bet. Sex ain't free, guys. <laughs> I don't know what it is, bro. What's <laughs> up? God, uh, but I fucking when I roll my own blunts by myself, I, I'm shitty. All right, but then when I'm out in public and you roll it for a yeah. bitty, yeah, let it's me fucking it. let perfect, me it. bro. Guy, bro. Let me lick it. The blunt. Let me lick it. The blunt. <laughs> the blunt. <laughs> right, <he's> gonna... <laughs> I was gonna let him do it. Hey, uh, I like the trust that you have in me, man. Yeah, that was great. This is a real that relationship great. here. That's what you need in friendship. This might blossom into something more than just a podcast. I'm a bromance. A bromance. I mean, I haven't shaved him like little Jose. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to the day where I get to wax him. 2000 subs. Smash that like button. Yo, he, smash that he, like button. He shaved my me. leg. It wasn't was my butt crack. It was like upper thigh. It was like right in his fucking thigh, right below his ass cheek area. You know what I mean? But between it was like right, it was getting to that crack. section where it's questionable. It's where it's getting hairy. <laughs> That's where it's getting, bro. That's okay. That's okay, right? Because it's bromance. And we sometimes shave each other. Is there something wrong with it? Who said this? Hey, who makes you know, a rule? I'm not going to lie, bro. Hey, who makes yeah. rules, man? Like, you can't fucking follow Bad Bunnies or Bad Babies page. Whatever the fuck. How many bunnies and babies are there? There's a lot of bad bunnies. <laughs> <bunnies. laughs> Everybody's <laughs> bad now. Everybody's <laughs> bad. Yo, I want to be good. <laughs> I'm going to be good. Right here. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah? going to be right there. Yeah, she's going to be right here somewhere. But listen, man. Look, bro. Bad Baby made a, mi- a million baby. dollars. <laughs> And one day on OnlyFans, all I can say is, y'all are some fucking perps. Y'all some fucking creeps. Y'all some what fucking fuck? perps. But oh, yes. I'll tell you something else, right. Mav. Well, Talk shit. I always knew it. I yeah. always knew she was going to be a hoe. Oh, yeah. Since that Dr. Since, Phil episode. Since I saw her little smut attitude, mm. I was like, She's going nowhere. Give her the give her a few years. She's gonna be living with Hef. No, nah, but you to know be what? Honest, money doesn't mean Hugh, shit. He's, she's gonna be living with Hugh Hefner. Yeah. You know what? You got to you got to give it to. Oh these, damn, yeah, RP Hugh. My bad, Hugh. You got to give it to these people, man, because they're smart. You know, I feel bad for the women that are doing the same thing that she's doing for seven ninety nine a month. And this girl just went on one time and just took out the whole group out just of everybody. 18, hey, yo, nah, no, like, like that's you crazy. You know who I want to shout out? Shout out Drew to Ski. shout out to Bo. <laughs> shout out to Big Bo. <laughs> Who's Big Bo? I'm done. Uh, I'm out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, I'm confused. Yachty, bro. Yachty. Oh, yeah. Shout oh, out to Lil Yachty, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Big boat. Oh, man. Nah, bro. Listen, man. The funniest fucking video I saw in a long time. This nigga did a fucking Instagram live buy. He did a live buy. Oh, wait. Not a drive did buy. Did you make that up? A live buy. Did you make that up? I got you. No, I oh, did it. Oh, I, yeah, what the I read fuck it in the comments. Shout out to you. Whoever wrote that in the comments. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, thanks. That was a good but not, one. it was a live buy, for real, because this nigga fucking straight called Drewski. Drewski picked up. He's like, what up, fuck boy? And all fucking Yachty did. We're going to put the video right on the yeah, screen. And all Yachty did y'all. was zoom in. And it showed Drewski had like bad babies pictured. And then he just got off. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin', fuck boy? Wait, 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 Yo, Boat is wildin'! Yo, Boat is, bitch, I'm a nigga, I'm a kill you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put the video up so y'all can laugh too. Yeah, that video is do. fucking hilarious. Yo, Yachty's man. funny as fuck. Though. Yachty's hilarious. Bro. That's that's what fuck. I do to my boy too. Yo, look at yeah, this fucking bro. bitch ass bro, thing. She's just seventeen, not that long ago. Like, Think about a week it. ago, bitch. Like what the so, fuck? He has a that weird means voice. That these dudes was waiting. Unique. They was waiting. Waiting, bro. They was prowling on this young girl. I got a fourteen year old. You know what that says? You don't fuck you to all your pieces of shit. Do that to my daughter. I'm going to come. That's fucking wild. Call of Duty. I, I didn't even know like she did it until after the fact. And then I saw a million dollar post. I was like, yeah, oh bro. shit. Well, I saw, John, I'm sure that you look like the type that might have you paid. Let me see the you history subscribe. on your phone. No, it's got five dollars. He gave her a five. He gave her a five. Shit, I'll give her fucking nothing because. <laughs> hey, 
What do you mean damn. nothing? What do you mean nothing? You wanna? N- You've never paid for pussy, Jai? Yeah? Nah, I paid for pussy a couple times. Damn. You know what, no, guys? You paid that's for that's a round of like, applause to my dog. No, most guys, yo. most guys wouldn't have the balls to say and that. When I say pay, I mean I, I, I literally, I literally <laughs> took her out too. I, I bought some bottles. <laughs> nah, 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 and nah. I, and, I, and, I, and I did Whoa. a lot of things. <laughs> this thing is a uh, dick. We're yeah. the cop. We're not getting into her piece. Have I ever fucking pimped out hoes? Maybe. Have I ever fucking wow, did Wow, let's get into that. Maybe. He looks like the type that might pimp someone out, though. You got your pimp hand strong? Yeah, I fucking slapped her up a couple times, and I said, hey. I really believe it. You look like nah, the type. You look like the type. Look, look, look. No, I'm just My man doesn't do that. No, nah, yeah, guys. Don't he think might. that he's a piece of shit. Yeah, Ladies, get that. at him in his DM. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Under crowd. We'll put it right here. I'm right a, here. Yeah, under crowd. You can call me whatever you want, though, okay? Mm. Ooh, oh my ah, oh, that was that was Zeddy. that was big dick energy right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 that was, was that. Yeah, that was yeah, that. Yeah, that was yeah. that. Yo, cheers, cheers, cheers to y'all. Cheers to y'all. Even though my yeah. Yeah. Damn, bitch, damn <laughs> bitch, fucking <laughs> asshole. This guy's oh fucking God. trash. I'm open it right now. This is the guy that like you do not want to party with. This guy's like, hey, I'm the guy that's not at the party by eleven o'clock. Yeah, this guy's leaving. This guy smashed by nine and I'm asleep. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna pick up a few fucking honey's numbers and I'm out. I don't pick up honey's numbers. Hit me up numbers. after the party. But you I got know a what life. I can after have sex whenever the fuck I want. Hit me up after. I got the after party at the crib, baby. Nah, bro. You know what I noticed, man? Tell you me. know what I hate doing, bro? Um, I hate taking fucking like nasty shits. Like, I like to take a healthy shit sometimes. You, you know, seem just to be talking about shits every podcast. It's kind of starting yeah, to yeah, like, I don't know. Are you obsessed with it? Like, yeah. is that are a you fetish for you? Feces? I, I don't with know. Feces? I don't know, man. Like, I feel like healthier shits mean that you're a healthy person. Mm. Mm. Wow, you're so scientific. When Fuck you, you, Elon. When you're pissing clear water out of your fucking urine, that means you're fucking, you know, you're, you're hydrated. You're ready to go. You're good. When you're fucking pissing out fucking yellow and yellow stones, out this bitch And you're fucking Dehydrated This is not gonna be free and fr- Stop talking We're not no, gonna no, give this no, away no, For free No this is fucking This knowledge this is, that John is laying on you guys You can't get this anywhere else Some Bro, people don't know that though We're, oh They really don't Believe it or not Philosophical Can you, Thank you Thank you Thank you John Hey guys Take that with you Drink water you piece Take of that shit. with you Drink water And be fucking healthy And be right? merry Yeah drink a lot don't of water Don't be a fucking piece yeah, of shit Merry Christmas Yeah Facts. Take that, a that's a gift. That's a free one. That's a free. freebie. That's a freebie. But yeah, guys, moving on into some a little bit more serious, man. Um, former NFL player Philip Adams killed five people and then himself. A gunman who killed five people, including a prominent doctor in South Carolina, was former NFL pro Philip Adams, who killed himself Thursday, according to a source who was briefed on the investigation. The source who spoke on condition on condition of some word I can't fucking pronounce because he wasn't authorized to speak publicly said Adam's parents live near the doctor's home in Rock Hill and that he had been treated by the doctor. So this NFL player lost his shit, killed the doctor, and killed his whole family. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't I don't think I've heard anything on the media. Did did you? Did you did you hear yeah, anything about that? I didn't that really hear much. Man. I don't. Unfortunately, I didn't because whether you like it or not, the truth of the matter is that he's black killing a white family. So the narrative doesn't what? match. You see what I'm saying? The narrative, which I'm not saying this, so y'all can take it wherever you want. I don't give a fuck because that's what I do. Did, did, you, did you just hear that? <laughs> that that is, is the, the truth. Narrative. Nah, yeah, it's the truth, if man. It like, a white guy though that killed a black family, we will be burning down cities. But ultimately, it's, it's not even truth. about it's, race. It's you know not, what I'm saying? It's not. It doesn't race come baiting. down. It yeah, doesn't come baiting. down to race. What they're really trying to do is start a race fucking war. We in need my to love opinion. each other, guys. They're race baiting, man. They're race baiting blacks with whites, whites with blacks. You but know, we Asians. Decide, like we it, gotta it's decide crazy. to love. You see what I'm saying? You gotta decide to love. You can't be driven by the media, by social media. You gotta decide to love. Fuck what you're being told. Find out for yourself. Yeah, yeah, because there's shitty people in every color, bro. Like that there's ass. shitty people all over, but half of the fucking people I know are shitty. Like I know a lot of yeah. great white know, people. I know a lot of people that act like they're great, but too, that's and never okay really though. Shitty. That's yeah. never okay. Like if you got a problem, seek help. We said it before, seek help. If this man got cut off from pain medication and he just obviously snapped 
and killed people. That listen, guys, that's never the, the seek help. That's never the answer, man. No, it doesn't matter how you're feeling in the moment. Trust me, bro. Let that shit go. Think about it for a little bit. And you, know you won't feel the same and, in 24 hours. And it's not going to be the same because that's a that's a heavy, heavy, heavy decision. Yo, there was kids involved. Like that's in that fucking shit. kids gone, parents gone, a doctor gone, his wife gone. That man, he took his that's own a life. Lot of lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know the guilt that his family must feel for the other family. Yeah. Because they're not. That's not their fault. Nah, for but real. now they're looking at it like, "Yo, fuck you and your son." Like he took my whole family. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. heavy, it's bro. It's hard to you gotta, not feel like like that. that that's anger. guilt. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, like, and even like I can't. Ins- like I'm sorry even to his mom. Like his yeah, mom. That's, crazy, that's gotta man. hurt because at the end of the day, I have kids, right? And I raise them to be to the best of my ability. Because there's no handbook on being a parent, so I just raise them to the best of my ability. I take a little bit from here, what I learned from here. Yep. I'm always trying to learn how to be a better, a better parent. But the thing is, you want, after a certain point, and you know, you know, after yeah, you, you make teenager, your own decisions. Yeah, man. Like, you my make your kid own decisions. could be crazy. One of my kids can be a complete nutcase. And, and you I, never know. I, did, I don't know. All I could do is the best I could do now. But at some point, they're going to start having their own beliefs. Their own, like, yep. I believe in God. At one point, one of my kids can be like, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. Facts. What can I do? Except Besides love them, pray bro. for them. Yeah, pray for them and love them. Because it's not about like, bro, you could tell me tomorrow that you don't believe in God. It doesn't mean that I'm going to cut you off. I'm nah, going to pray for you. I'm going to be around you because you're my boy. You matter to me. Facts. Yep. And if people would just let every, like, people would let each other know that you matter. Like, bro, you matter to me, bro. I appreciate the things that you do for mm-hmm. me. You know what? Somebody could go home and you might actually prevent somebody. You could. Prevent somebody from killing themselves by letting them know, man, I appreciate the shit that you do for me. Fact. And they feel appreciated because they might be feeling hopeless in the background. And I don't mean to get deep, but I'm getting All right, deep. it's real shit, bro. It's Not real fucking shit. Shout, hey, round of applause for Jay over here, Mr. Preacher Man. Hey, I try to learn preaching, you know what I mean? Preaching some real fucking shit. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Appreciate you. But you know what I mean? You, you know who somebody I appreciated growing up? Made my childhood fucking great. Some days I'd stay home when I wasn't supposed to. Shout out to you, my dukes. Talk to me. And uh, I used to watch Jerry Springer. Ooh. Jerry. For sh- hey, All right, round of applause. Shout out to, to Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. You know what? Jerry the crazy Springer's motherfucker. My- no, he hey, that was crazy. a the show. The people on the show was crazy. The people on the show was He's crazy. Like, I slept with both of my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know a few people that went on the show. It's all scripted, guys. None yeah. of that shit's real. But they need to bring it back. I thought it yeah, was dude. for a little bit when Yo, I was like, when you're kids, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, like, oh shit, look. My grandpa, me yeah. and my grandpa. Yeah, yeah fuck I used to be into wrestling, too, and then I found out it wasn't real. It was one of the fucking worst days of my yeah, life. Yeah, I... Bro, I found out. It's like WWE. I found out when I was a kid. That's exactly. That's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> but I was. I found out when I was a fucking kid. Yeah, we're talking bro. about Jerry Springer. Yeah. And I never again fucking watch wrestling. Yes. It literally, yeah, like, me too. Devastated. Yeah, me too. Oh, As a kid, I used to love that shit. And, and then when I was like, wait, 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 they're not really beating mm-hmm. each other up. They're not really like what? Yeah. What? That's I was like, bro, felt, you yeah. fucking dip, you. Deceitful and you motherfuckers. couldn't tell as a kid. Like, yeah, you of course. Tell. But then when they pointed it out that it wasn't real, like, this looks so fucking fake. Yeah, so you're like, like wow, fucking... I can't believe. What a fucking dumb kid yeah, I was. Fuck you, shove it up your ass. <laughs> it's like fucking Santa Claus, man. You know? It's Santa like, Claus is like, real as fuck. What the fuck no, are you doing? I don't know. What you, don't ever say don't that ever again. Dis- don't dis- no. don't disrespect uh, don't, them. Nah, you know what, Listen, bro? Santa it was Claus a disappointment. This is the problem with America nowadays. What the fuck? Yeah, that is the problem with America. Fuck you that, bro. Shit. You know what, bro? <laughs> Anybody that's watching, you shouldn't be fucking, oh, I mean, under the age of fucking 16 years old. No, 18. 17, 16. 18, 18, 18. We all know. Hey, I know you're there. I know you're watching. You R. Kelly face ass nigga. Nah, nah, bro. Come on. Bro, what were you? Bro, I, actually, I do know what you were doing at 16. Shut the fuck up. I don't know. Yeah, let's talk about it. Tell let's us. get into it a you little bit. You were smoking Doja. I was smoking Za, I'm gonna bitch. I'm going to take these off because I want people to see the fucking expression of my disappointment <laughs> with this guy right here right now. Let me put these things back on. Yeah. I don't even know if I need these things. What do you guys think? Do I need headphones? Do I not? I headphones? don't know. I don't know. Can you hear me? Headphones? Shut the fuck up, <laughs> I'm trying to... Headphones? Get no headphones. 
I, I think you look marvelous either way, Mav. Oh I'll my. tell you. That is the sweetest you, thing I'll anybody's ever said to me. That's me, bro. You you're gave, wa- you're you wasting said, it. Motherfucker, you said that's the answer. Hey, why don't you just fucking <laughs> uh, for, burn yo, my whole do- goddamn yo, cloth off the table? Are Jay? I gave him. Look at their ashtray. This is the ashtray that John gave me. The crack head off, Jay. What the fuck is that? It's a beer bottle cap. Every crack off the table. And I was feeling it. Every crack off the table. You irresponsible piece of shit. Get out, bro. Get out, bro. He treats me like trash. Yo, you know? I I'm like, yo, I'm a I, like a fucking p- I got fucking feelings. Yo, every time I come over, I treat him like a fucking peasant, bro. What the fuck is going you're on, bro? You're like a piece peasant. of shit. Hey, you guys, know? don't ever go over John's house if he you invite you. He more money than me. Because he's just going to give yo. me a fucking bottle cap for a fucking ass yo, shit. Yo, if I like you, I'm going to treat you like shit. If I hate you, I'm going to treat you like <laughs> shit. So this pick guy. which side you want to do. All right? I'm not gonna hang out with him anymore. I tell you so. Fuck him. Now you know who I wouldn't hang out with, boys. Mm. That fucking guy from Cheetahs. All right, the guy that got stabbed twice. But guess what? I did a little bit of research and I found out something, boys. Oh, oh wow, wow. All that shit was fake. Even the stabbing. No. I swear to God, it was all set up. It was all fake. And he was like an actor, and he decided to move on to like do other shit. That's why like they didn't continue the show. Oh. I'm a little. Disappointed. I was. It's the same as wrestling. That's bro. a good strategy, though. Back on. That's really it's good. smart, but damn, bro, I'm over here thinking like, yo, this nigga really got stabbed nah, for being a fucking snitch, bitch ass nigga. It makes sense. Because honestly, I always thought that that character like was a bitch ass nigga. It's like, bro, you're literally <laughs> calling snitch. this bitch like, bro, I have a whole team that could catch a nigga cheating. Bro, <laughs> like, yo, bro. I got a shit. whole team. Of a whole boy. team. We'll chase them down with cameras <laughs> and all. Yeah, but what? <laughs> yo, let me chase them down, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, if, if they would have caught me, bro. Like honestly, I would have been like, man. No, y'all... you're the type to get caught. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you might, sure. you might ca- Yeah, you might catch my ass slipping. But you'll leave both of them bitches there. You won't give a fuck. Uh, this yeah. guy just fucking walk this car, leave. I'll be like, all right, guys, you got me. <laughs> you got me, guys. Yo, white people don't care about it. If that was a Hispanic show or a black show. Believe it. They're going to be like, yo, this fucked nigga fucking snitch ass yeah. cabron, hijo puta. Que maldita sea la madre que lo va a ayudar a este cabron, man. But white people don't care. They're like, yeah, snitch him out. Yeah, Go boy. ahead, Bob. Go ahead, Susie. Yeah, yeah girl power. Yo, Leave when, him. When he got stabbed, though, it made sense, though. Like, you know, yeah, like nah, I was like, oh, yeah. wow. Like, I was I mean, like, bro, it was bound to happen. It was a matter of time. Stitches. <laughs> It was a bad. It was a matter of time. You it keep it on that fucking cape yeah. on, nigga. Yeah. I'm like telling you, like he was saving these hoes you got for to real. Save a hoe, bro. You gonna get got one time, yo, bitch. and he'll get him locked up too. You act up and you touch one of the cameramen, or you getting locked up. Now, like, <laughs> like, for real, like you just getting locked no, up. No, no, facts. That's I like don't assault. The guy's doing his job. Bro. You told me to record this. You're I'm paying not gonna me hit the grand. cameraman. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the nigga that fucking brought the cameraman. Well, me personally, <laughs> at that very moment, I'm gonna hit everybody. <laughs> Whoa, everyone. This is a violent guy. This guy, I said it But round of applause, round though. Of applause to him. Show us your chest. Show us your chest. <laughs> Zoom. Look at that nipple. It looks like a fucking uh, Hershey's yeah, kid. I'm going to put a face yeah. on that nipple. Eyes in the mouth. I don't got a, I got a nice nipple. I think I should get it pierced. I don't know. Maybe. Do maybe. It. Maybe. Hey, hey, why not? Do it. Get you know, know what you should do? Not. You should get the hoop earrings like Michael Jordan. Something that I found fucking hilarious growing up too, guys, is uh, the fucking Maury guy. The, the Maury cameraman. This oh. nigga will chase you from the studio to your fucking car and get in his car and chase you again. He don't give a fuck, bro. That nigga, will, like, he don't care about your pain. He don't care about nothing. He's running. You fall on the ground. Oh, God, no. And he's in your face. Bro, nah, shout out to you, man. Nah, shout, shout out to out him. To shout out to the camera, man. He'll fucking go through anywhere, bro. He'll jump a fucking fence. He'll go jump the border. That's commitment. That He'll do anything. That's commitment. He'll do, he said, it. He'll do it all. That nigga was waiting for the bitch to take off. He's like a track star. You know what I'm saying? He's and in the position to start running, not, nigga. Like iPhones now. Yeah, like, no, nah, them bitches were 100 fucking pounds. Them are big He's an athlete. Cameras. Yeah, those cameras are not <laughs> light, bro. Those have got to be at least 40 pounds. You're a fucking athlete, bro. Shout so out shout to out you. to you, man. Shout you out. you made my childhood I'm sure you weren't white. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not saying white people are not <laughs> athletic. White people, you're athletic, but... The way he ran with that camera, he had to yeah, be yeah, Hispanic and black. Yeah, nah, you had to, you had to have some, some fucking uh, it's drop a f- of slave in your blood. <laughs> it's That's a f- for sure. It's a fact. It's a fact. That's for sure. But yeah, man, something that I have, uh, I've heard some of my fucking friends tell me over the years, you know, shout out to the black community. Um, they've told me that Puerto Ricans are just uh, black people with straight hair that can swim. <laughs> you know what How the do y'all boys feel about that? I don't got hair, but... 
No, no, yeah, you, you just have Norwegian, your though. beard is made of fucking straw. Your beard but go ahead, Jay. <laughs> I'm out of my head. I don't even remember. So I'm stoned. I'm not even gonna lie. Now we're pretty lit. Now we're We're pretty lit. But yeah, no, I agree, bro. Us Ricans, bro, we're pretty much black. We're black niggas that that can fucking swim. Like straight the fuck up. The island though, we're by water. Yeah, yeah, we're in the Caribbean. But that's like, bro, I feel like that's really why we click, man. Like. Yeah, most Hispanics yes. and most black people they click. Yes. Uh, if you go through the whole Caribbean, there's black people in the Caribbean. There's Jamaicans. There's Haitians. Yeah, yeah. but you know the what I'm look at Sean Paul. Yeah. Look at fucking people in the Dominican Republic. Sorry to fucking tell you. I know you don't want to be the told you're black, Latinos, but Afro you're Latino. fucking black. Look at yourself. Yeah, Loisa. My dog. My dog. I was about to sing. A- I was about to sing some shit. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. We with Talk you. To me. Nah, man. It was that fucking Sean Paul shit, man. That temperature. How'd it go? Temperature, bro. You're the one with the golden lungs here. Yeah, bro. I can't me. sing. <sighs> Man, there was a song. Hey, I'll, on, come, on, I'll come on, back to it. I'll come back. I remember. Get yeah, busy. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Yo, I you can be the Like the fucking yo, best yo, ever done. Bro, when Don't I worry about it. Just fucking, little, when just, I, just, just brush your fucking yo, nut off your shoulders and keep it moving. When I did that little little pop pop, yeah, his eyes I liked went. It. Yeah, that kind of turned me on. He was like, "Damn, I what lie the to fuck?" Hey, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> All right, like that. Jolon, Jolon, Jolon. Nah, but nah. man. This fucking TikTok shit is pissing me off, boys. I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys out there. Go down in the comments and, and let us know if Yo, you bro, agree. Not a dick. But yeah, facts. Don't fucking Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I'll be just talking. hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but uh, this up. guy's a fucking dick holster over here, apparently. <laughs> but <laughs> but nah. Fucking TikTok ruined music and dancing forever. <laughs> I don't care what nobody said. Like, John's mad. He's, He's mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm fucking... No, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really <laughs> mad. I'm actually, I'm actually really fucking stoned right now. I think I took too many dabs, guys. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what's going on. This is, we're already dance. like... We're like 60 minutes oh, in right yeah, now. No, we're not, not like... Minutes, we're not. Said. We're like fucking 32 <laughs> minutes in, <laughs> but... The <laughs> fucking guy over here. They are ruining fucking music. <laughs> nah, yeah, and nah, dancing. for us, they're ruining music. They're fucking yeah. dictating what's hot, what's not, what yeah. a good dance is. Bitch, you're not yeah. that. Hey, bring back the step up, boys. All right, you Ooh. remember them niggas dancing in the, the rain back, or the back street, fucking man. kicking around water oh, and Asha, puddles Asha. and shit. Yeah, and then Chris Breezy got fucking killed in that. You oh, remember yes. that? Yeah. Yo, me, Beba. Yo, remember shout out to you, Beba. Hey, stomp the yard. They stomped that bitch. Bro. Yo, Yo they... Beba was just talking about that the other day. Yo. My sister in law was just talking about the Chris Brown. Like, <laughs> we didn't know he was gonna die so soon in the movie. Yeah, nigga, that, he. He probably did that one scene and he was like, bro, I don't want to be in this shit. Yo, <laughs> These niggas can't dance. Though. This shit's ass. Yo, this splint tastes like turkey. Mm. He rolled it. You know why? It's maybe because John's hands were touching his meat too fucking much. He was playing with his gooch <laughs> yeah, and the under cheese. His, I knew it had kind the of like under a cheese. weird taste to it. Like, um, you know when yeah. after you play a game of basketball, how your armpit smells? That's how that blunt tasted. Mm, damn. Mm. Yo, so I'm, I'm assuming that your hands smell like I that. hate people that don't wear deodorant, bro. I really Yo, do. if you don't wear deodorant. <laughs> but if you can't afford deodorant, then that's a different If you story, can't yeah. afford deodorant, hey, I'm so it's sorry. Not even but that. It's now, a, if yeah, you I don't mean, wear deodorant, deodorant yeah. come on, you piece of Come shit. on, you can man. buy cigarettes. Yeah, yeah facts. You can like, buy deodorant. No, no, it's not even that. People don't wear it because they feel like it's like oh, all like all metals and shit that fuck no, you up. Oh, dude, like, it's that up? natural. Yeah, Let yeah, me get the that. fucking like, shit that smells like a leaf and fucking no, wipe it on my what? fucking. Nah, but like guess what? Leaf. Nah, facts. Now we have the technology to have deodorant without metals. That's nah, facts. There's shit I that have. smells really good and yeah. it's it's not harmful to you. Exactly. Guess what, guys? People have been fucking putting harmful. Like somebody will tell me, "Oh, you wash, you bathe with uh, Axe body wash." Oh no! But go and snort a half a kilo of fucking cocaine over the weekend. Yeah, or you you'll it? fucking tell me about the fucking the fucking shampoo I use, but you're sitting here fucking taking Tylenol every and day. And eat a meal at McDonald's. 
Like, what the Fetch. fuck do you think you're eating? Like, people yeah. just think that certain, like, oh, I do this, so I'm better than you. Motherfucker, okay, but what this other thing that Bro. you do is the equivalent of the Guys, same shit. Yeah. Don't, don't be that person mm-hmm. where you, like, you used to drink and stopped, and now you judge, or you used to smoke and stopped, yeah. and now you judge. Don't be that person, bro. If you stop, good for you, nigga. Shout out to Live you. your fucking life. But leave yeah. other fucking people alone. And yeah. let them stop if they want to. Let them keep going if yeah. they want to. Unless it's something that's serious and can take your fucking life. Yeah. You know, but at that point, go get some help. But yeah. if it's like, if you stop smoking weed or some shit, bro, don't fucking judge somebody because they still smoke weed. Who the fuck are you? Or they, Who are you? Or they can't, they can't afford to be healthy and shit like that. Like, period. You know what I mean? Like, they, they just can't afford it. Like, oh, no, I can't. Like, I'm like, well, I'm at the point in my life right now. If It's about choices. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. I'm at the point in my life right now. Like, last <laughs> night, like, I wanted to get a burger. I was like, man, I really want a burger, right? And I was like, nah, bro. Like, I didn't feel too good when I woke up after I ate that burger. Like, to be real. Bro, like, to be real with you. So, I, so you I got a salad. I got a salad. But sometimes it was a little bit more. It was a little bit more. But. Guess what? I made the choice. I was like, you know what? On the long run, like I feel like paying a little bit more is worth it on the long run. Nowadays. But yeah, that's bro. what they do it. They make like, expensive food, healthy food, and the fucking shit that's bad for you, super cheap. Exactly. You can feed a family of fucking five with ten dollars. Yep. Yeah, that's from McDonald's. a fact. It's crazy. But you go to a healthy restaurant, go to Whole Foods and go grocery shopping there. But ultimately, mm-hmm. man, it comes it comes down to sacrifice and it comes down to, you yeah, know, just that. making sacrifices in the moment so that you could be better off in the future. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, bitch, who doesn't enjoy fucking McDonald's and going out to eat and certain shit? But you keep doing that. Eventually, in the future, you're going to have to deal with the consequences of doing that. If you stop now and, and change your habits, there's a lot of things that you might might avoid. Down yeah. the line, you know yep. what I mean? It's true. It's very yeah. true. Yeah, man, it was nasty, bro. I've been getting heartburn like recently. Like I've been getting older. Like that's how you know when your body's getting older. He said you know? recently I've been getting older. I mean, every, yeah, yeah. I recently, mean, every, every it day. just started yeah. recently. Yeah, recently? like recently. Like Damn, now, that now that I don't know, bro. I feel like <laughs> you reach a you reach a point in your life where you're like, yo, like there's something that happens to you. You're like, bro, I'm getting older. You know what I mean? Like everybody. Mind you, dip- John's twenty five, so yeah. he could go fuck himself. I'm yeah. thirty. Yeah. Thirty four. Yeah, and everybody <laughs> thinks everybody thinks I'm fucking old and shit. But it's like, bro, like I got heartburn for the first time. I remember hearing that shit from older people. Like, oh, I get heartburn. I'm like, man, I never had that. In my Is this life. guy serious right now? Yeah, like never. You, if you're complaining now, let me tell you something. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the biggest bitch by thirty I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Like, yo, and it's you're fucking- not ready. You better go move back in with mama. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> And you know what? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and it, it, it's fucking wild. I had heartburn and I got nervous. I remember I was at your house the first time I ever got yeah, heartburn. Man, you remember that? Nervous. And I got nervous, yes, and I was like, was there too. and it was no, was and every, yeah, everybody was there. there. Yeah, and his wife was there, yeah, and everybody was there. Gave you medicine. Yeah, and and I was just you like, yo, too. I feel something. Like I felt like something was wrong with me, bro. He was scared, man. Like I was scared. And when I was like, I don't remember this. You know how I always tell you know how I always tell I'm paranoid. I'm like, yo. Like, I thought something was wrong with me. I was like, yo, am I having a heart attack? Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, for real. I never had heartburn. That's why I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Guys, shout out to Johnny Boy for fucking feeling heartburn heartburn for the first time in his life. I was like, yo, so this is what it feels like. Welcome to adulthood. And I'm getting old. He has a lot of trauma that he has to deal with because of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what the fuck, bro? So we got to be healthy, bro. That shit won't be. He's going through a midlife crisis at 25, guys. 25. I'm not going to lie. I did too. I remember on my 25th birthday, my wife's like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to sit here on the fucking couch all day and and smoke weed and watch. Reggaeton videos. I'm done. Facts. I'm gonna Facts. die soon. There's nothing else to celebrate. I'm done. That was yeah. the last. But it's true because look, you you look forward for your 18th because of tobacco. Yeah. You look forward Not for your twenty but. your twenty first because of fucking uh alcohol now or whatever. Tobacco. And then when you get a little older, you look forward to your twenty fifth because that's when your fucking insurance drops a little bit. What's after that? That shit. Retirement. That shit. You're that fucked. That shit happened. You're man. fucked. Your retirement. What, Yo, what age I'm is hitting. senior citizen discount? What Yo. age is that? Yo, I think it's like how, 60. How, how much you paying? How much you pay? How much you pay for insurance? I don't fuck. I don't even. I pay. I pay eighty dollars. I pay eighty dollars. Yeah, no, got, no, no, no. But I used to pay two hundred because yeah. I was under twenty five. So when you said that, I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Because once I oh, hit you're 20, talking, uh, yeah, bro. My yeah. insurance isn't much, but it, it's it's. It takes time, bro. It takes time for it to fucking lower. Yeah. When you're younger, if you get yeah. tickets and you fucking, 
You <laughs> get into accidents. All that shit has a lot to do with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, right. knock on wood, I've never fucking been in an accident like that yep. until recently. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't so your like, fault. I yeah, mean, like you know, what I mean, you were good. Yeah, it, everything it, was chilling. It was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad accident, but it's like the point is, it's like my insurance still isn't isn't. It hasn't gone up because it's the first accident I've ever had. Even if it was you know your fault, you would have been like, fuck it, who cares, bro? Because I've been in an accident. Yo, it's an accident, been, bro. I've been in a few accidents that was my fault. That you know That's why you got insurance. Yeah, that's why you get insurance, bro. And that's that why is. you pay every month so they can fucking pick it up. Because yep. I just paid $500 for a, deduct, a, a deductible, got my shit fixed. It was like fucking $5,000 worth of damage. You know what I'm it saying? For 500 new. Looks brand new, no. It looks good, so it's yeah. chilling. Yeah, bro, it's chilling. But yeah, guys, get insurance. If you're riding around without insurance, man, what the uh, fuck is you doing? Don't, don't. Those are the niggas that hit and run. No, you know I've, I've like, done that. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Yeah, you're a. Fucking, I probably wouldn't say that on camera. This guy's a piece of shit. Disclaimer: This guy's a piece of shit. It wasn't in the state though. Mm. That's even worse. That makes it so yeah, much that's... better. <laughs> you don't know my name. <laughs> that makes it so much fucking better. What's my name? name? Just hit the email. Say my name. Oh, say nah, my name. Nah. What's no my one name? Is around oh. you. Say Wait, baby, I love that's what I'm talking you. About. Say my name. There's say a lot of name, name songs. Rocking like that and wasn't shit. A joke. Subscribing. <laughs> real serious. Oh. Dead ass. Dead ass. I We've Yo, been back with look, look. Go ahead, Johnny boy. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for the second time because I fucked up the first time. Yeah, go ahead. Yo, yo, I need my dogs to hide me up in the background though, cause I don't got jail. Hey, yeah. uh. Hey. Okay. Hey, uh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, another one. Another one. Yo, this go. is Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. What don't forget are you it. Doing? Yeah, I'm gonna be Johnny Blaze now. I think that's what it's gonna be. All right, guys. Blaze, We've been back with yeah. another one. We appreciate yeah. you. He never got to rapping, so we're gonna fucking I wrap it up. I couldn't do it this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too stoned. Johnny we Blaze. love you. Tell yeah. somebody you love them. Look how cloudy it is. And stay tuned for the next one, guys. Sheesh. Peace. Love you.